Hey guys, Stephanie with you today. I'm super happy to show you this awesome project made with some La La Land products. So uh, right now we're going to start coloring the a new image that is called City Molly. Uh, I just love her. Molly is probably one of my favorite characters from La La Land. Uh, as soon as she at the stores, I knew that I had to color her up. So uh, first what we're going to do today is we're going to do some coloring. So copy coloring you can find all the markers listed on the La La Land blog and on my own blog and so you don't have to worry about uh, noting down all the caps that I'm showing you and once the coloring part will be done we will fussy cut our image and then I'm going to show you how to do some quick and simple binding so we're going to uh, create the structure of a mini album uh, whereas you can uh, put all your images and pictures and uh, us and decorate it with all the dyes and images from La La Land. So I'm going to speed up the process um, and then also put some music on because I don't want to talk for the entire time. It would be a bit boring for you. And then I'm going to catch up back with you uh, once we're going to be at the mini album part. Okay?
Okay, so we're almost done with our uh, City Molly. I just love this image. She's just so cute. I mean, can't you see her on a card or a project featuring your uh, holiday pictures or even on a scrapbook layout uh, with some uh, fun girls' times pictures? I mean, she's just so unique and so useful for any occasion. And uh, as you can see, what I'm currently doing on the video is that I'm holding some uh, polka dots to her scarf to give her a bit of texture um, and uh, to make it a little more special. I just love how you can always um, add these little details to the La La Land images without altering the unique designs that um, Irina and Eric have created. So um, I hope that you're going to buy this image after seeing this video. Um, if you don't really ha already have her in your stash because she's a must have and have you looked at those that gorgeous hair so um i've done it really basically with some brown shades because they are my favorite uh tones to do um characters but you could definitely do her as a blonde or turn her into a redhead uh whatever your heart feels uh, with it so now I'm doing some fussy cutting with the image. Uh, so with some sharp scissors, I'm just um, putting some, um, well, leaving a white border, a, let's say two or three millimeters. It's not really precise um, because she's going to pop on our mini album. So now to our mini album. Um, don't stress, it's super simple. I just love this technique and I'm sure you're going to be in love with it too. So what I'm first doing is with my paper trimmer, I'm cutting four pieces of cardstock. This is, um, the cardstock is cut at five inches by 12 inches. And then with your scoring tool or either your score ball, either way, you're going to score each, each panel at five and a, five and a half six inches and then six and a half inches. I'm going to repeat this uh, and you're going to see it multiple times because I'm doing it on each um, on each cut piece. So with each piece from your left um, side, you're going to want to score three times. So at five and a half, at six inches, and then at six and a half, leaving you with three scoring lines and um, these are going to be uh, what we use for our binding system. Um, and you maybe won't believe me, but that is the uh, big part of the mini album. That's the structure. So once you have your three folds, you're going to simply create the fold. So bend the paper inward, backward, so that you have like a W shape, okay? So you bend each fold, um, towards you and towards the exterior so that you have the W shape. So which each panel, once you have this W shape, or if you have an M, it's also okay because it's just the reverse side. Um, once it's done, you're going to want to put some adhesive. So this one is, um, if I remember correctly, it's a quarter inch wide because I don't want it to be too wide um, since I want it it to be within the spaces of my folds. So I'm simply putting adhesive on the first layer and then I'm stacking my second layer on top of it. Then I'm adding a, another round of adhesive and then I'm stacking a third piece. And you might see where this is going, but you have to put adhesive on each layer except the last one. Why? Well, because that's our um, last part. So that's the part that you will actually see within the mini album. And once that is done, you're going to want to take the crocodile or any piercing tool that you have around you. So it can be a punch or whatever. And you're going to want to take the, the junction of your paper and simply pierce it three times so thrice and uh, to say beautifully so once that is pierced you'll get a uh, double sets of holes on your seam and then uh, you can definitely uh, slow down this video if you need it uh, but i'm going to try to explain it as best as i can and then you can uh, also read the uh, tutorial on the la la land blog so with some twine or ribbon you're going to want to start from the bottom right hole 
from the exterior to the interior of the mini album. And then you're going to want to cross over the other side. It's going to be in the middle and then going from inside to outside, you're going to come out. Then you're going to go crisscrossing, simply stitching, in fact, the interior uh, of your album. And once that is done, uh, you should end up at the exterior of the album next to where you started at the beginning. And then you can simply do a little bow and it's going to be super cute. And once that is done, our structure is, is complete. So um, the, you can definitely watch it over, slow it down. I'm going to explain it once again, no worries. But once your structure is done, all you need is to decorate it with your favorite uh, pattern paper and of course the awesome La La Land dies that are in stock. Um, I just love 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 the new pineapple die and the peacock feather so these are the two that I decided to cut uh, within some white card stuff with the fabulous word and um, I also decided to cut my pattern paper with the double stitch square die. So these are all fabulous dies that you need to have in stash because they are super versatile and you don't need a special occasion or a special theme to use them. They can fit with pretty much everything because as you can see, now we're building the mini album and but there's nothing inside it, but you, all, you get all those eight pages that you can decorate uh, on both sides with pictures of your holidays, of your latest um, trip to uh, to see a show or a, a birthday party, whatever you feel like it. So um, that's why I think it's really fun to create a bunch of those mini albums ahead of time. And they're just super quick to do, seriously. And um, I did do this with some 12 by 12 paper, but you could also do it with an 8 by 11 paper and just adapt the measurement so that it's smaller. So now I'm simply stacking and uh, adding some dimension to our um, our cover. So uh, once our city Molly was fussy cut, I decided that uh, she would be the focal point of my mini album. So I'm just adding some foam tab, uh, foam tape, excuse me, uh, behind all the little elements. The fabulous word is going to be across the, uh, in diagonal, across the mini album. So there's nothing complicated here and you can definitely adapt it to what you want, what you like and decorate the inside. So I hope you really enjoyed the, um, the process of the structure. Watch it again. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. I'll be happy to help and I'll see you another time for La La Land.